Ooh. I don't know where to start at. Um, it was a, it was a, it was a tough fight, you know what I mean. Um, we all, we went out, we we started the game off on um, pounding. We started off doing good and all, but you know, it, it, it's the um, mental mistakes that got us the most. But um, I think that um, we're gonna learn a lesson from this, and we should rebound from this. And um, you shouldn't you shouldn't see the Tiger will perform like this, with performance like this anymore, because I think that. I think we learned, they taught us um, a good little lesson. Country uh, whooping. They took us behind the old, wood, uh, the old proverbial woodshed. Again, you know, Urban Meyer said this, and we, we've got it posted in our locker room. The most invested team wins. And the, the Florida Gators will be the most invested team in the country. In high school football, our plan and our goal is to become the most invested team. But we saw an example of a team that was fully invested in their players. Man to a coach, to a player. They don't miss any summer workouts. They love playing football. We didn't play very well. We Two things always hurt you when you lose, costly penalties and turnovers. We had too many penalties and too many turnovers. Uh, we've got to do a better job coaching. We've got to do a better job playing. But we played a great program tonight. Uh, I thought it would be closer than it was. Disappointed in the outcome. But we play these kind of games to ready ourselves for district competition. Tiger Stadium, Kevin Brockway for uh, Friday Night Lights, where the final score is Madison County 56, Columbia 14. Yes, you heard it right. Uh, Craig Howard, was hope, uh, Columbia's coach, was hoping for a little bit more of a competitive game. It didn't quite turn out that way. Uh, early on, a 7-7 seven -seven tie. Uh, Cameron Sweat throws a 66-yard uh, touchdown pass to Jamal Montague. And uh, early on, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a game, but from there, uh, Madison County just completely dominated. 231 yards rushing in the first half. 352 yards rushing for the game. They really just took it to the ground against Columbia's defense, which coming into uh, this game appeared to be, uh, you know, its it strength. They had uh, held Gainesville High and Jacksonville Lee in check, um, but Columbia did, a, but uh, Madison did a really good job with their misdirection. They were a big physical team. Columbia missed some tackles, and the end result is a 56-14 uh, to 14 blowout. So uh, that's where we are. Columbia will try to regroup next week at Ridgeview. Uh, again, for Friday Night Lights, Kevin Brockway reporting.